Mallow arriving, Area A. Do you copy? Ah, Mr. Hi, Mr. Fallow. Welcome. Oh, please. Step right out right here. This way. Hi. So nice yes, to see you. Yes, it is. Mr. Fallow, Mr. Bavardage. Very nice to meet right you. This way. Uh, we have a cart <sighs> waiting here for you. Careful with that. If you don't mind, yes, we're just in a bit of a rush, so uh, we'll just hop on our cart here and get Quite going. Quite a few people right up there way. waiting for you, Peter. Yes, we're so honored to have you, Mr. Fallow. Well, this is really an historic occasion, Peter. Uh, I know, but oh. I'm <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Mr. Fallow, I would love to take this private moment just to tell you how much I admired your book. <laughs> well, you know what Faulkner said when asked with three novels he recommended? Anna Karenina, Anna Karenina, Anna Karenina. <laughs> if he were alive and reading, I'm sure he'd be saying the real McCoy and the Forgotten Lamb, the real McCoy and the Forgotten Lamb, the real McCoy and the Forgotten Lamb. <laughs> I, I just have to say, I know you've heard it a million times, but that scene where the mayor gets hit in the head with the mayonnaise jar, and, uh, well, to be continued, we're on our way. Oh, Mr. Fallow, right this way. Here we go. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, excuse us, gentlemen, coming through. I've got Mr. Fallow. Okay, now, we're moving right along. Hey, Mr. Fallow, hey, hey, hey Fallow, oh, back off. Please, oh, no, get, get away. This should get never happen. Sorry, Mr. Fallow. Just watch out, Peter. Here we go. Get... Oh. Uh, thank you. Okay. Right this way, Mr. Fallow. Anyway, we're just going through these two doors here. On our way. But I must say, if I may quote you, if I may, this, uh... Oh, oh look at all the busy bees. <laughs> but I uh, must say, Mr. Fallow, if I... Mr. Fallow! If I may quote you. <laughs> How in the name of God, who oh, in the name of God would bring a half eaten jar mayonnaise to public meeting ambassador? I'm Charles Mr. Duke Fallow. Callan. This is my wife, so Stephanie, and my daughter. Mr. Andrew. Fallow, I read your book 15 times, and next year, next year I'm going, going to take, take a course in it. We're going to go up by ourselves. No, but we took it. I don't know what to say. Are you hungry? That's salmon, but I really don't think you should touch that. Oh. Mr. Fallow, it's just such an honor to finally meet you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, oh, we are running a bit late. I don't know what to say. Let me see. I don't know. What's your name? Suzanne. You married? Oh. Hey, Mr. Fowler! Excuse me! Uh, Mr. Fowler! Excuse, Excuse, Excuse me! 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 Excuse me. I haven't introduced myself, have I? My name is Peter Fallon. I am a writer. But you know that already. Unless you haven't read a newspaper or seen a television in the last few months, you know exactly who I am. I am the man of the moment. The hero of the evening. Me and a little book I happen to write. Now, the real hero of the evening is, of course, not even with us tonight. But we'll come to him in a minute. For now, indulge yourself in the extravagance of the moment and remember, if you will, a phrase from another little bestseller. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Mr. Fellow, they're waiting. This is a story about such a man. And it begins on a rainy night, a little over a year ago. 